We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Dr. Unju Kim, who is Regional Director for Asia and the Pacific for ITU. Dr. Kim, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much for inviting me today. I'd like to start off by talking about the previous meeting, which was in 1988 in Melbourne, and uh, it was called WATTC at the time, or WATTS, I believe. And uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about what happened at that meeting and how things have changed between then and now. In fact, the, the meeting held in Melbourne was very historic and then very exciting meeting at the time with uh, heated the debates on the, the accounting rate in particular. And then at the time, all the telecom sector is a monopoly. And then I was lucky enough to participate at that meeting as a student. And then now the world has changed with the more converse and dynamic and innovative technology. We call it ICT or even Internet. But Internet is a part of the ICT technology as a whole. And what have been your impressions of this meeting so far? This meeting uh, is uh, very uh, that, uh, interesting and also very at uh, the, the right time in a very uh, the different world then and now because now with, uh, we have a more liberalized and competitive market with also dynamic and innovative technologies and applications that we have. So world in needs to have more quality of the service, so we call it now broadband, with also dynamic and innovative and creative applications that we are using every day. And what are the most pertinent points going to be in terms of telecommunications for the Asian Pacific region at this conference, do you think? Asia Pacific region is such a diverse region, having countries like China and India on one hand, and all the smallest country on earth is like Nauru, New Year, and then Solomon Island, and so on. And then on top of that, we have countries like Singapore, Japan, Korea, who are as a like leading in the technology edge in the ICT. So all this issue that we are talking about here, like uh, number hijacking and the country code hijacking, is relevant to Pacific Islands, like uh, Solomon Island, who is now present here. And also we are talking about landlocked country. We have a couple of landlocked countries in our region, like uh, Nepal, Afghanistan, and so on. And then where the, the cost of connectivity, especially unconnected areas, is, is very high. And that also international mobile roamings and where all these landlocked countries, LDCs that we have, as a facing day-to-day -day kind of very heavy challenges. So all these issues will be discussed here. I'm very looking forward to the positive and then agreed international treaty so that all these countries can benefit for all, regardless of these locations and gender and even ages and also persons with a disability. So what do you think are the hopes for the region in terms of the outcomes of this conference? As I mentioned, if all these issues that I just mentioned have some reached some kind of a consensus, this country can have a better access, especially the, the, the unconnected areas, so that the, the people, even the rural areas and the people with the, like, uh, the, the, with the disabilities can have a benefit through this kind of agreed tax so that they can just enjoy the information, not only information, now towards the knowledge society and a certain country we are talking about them, a smart society to connect it for all. Dr. Kim, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you.